Okay, now let us start with chapter sixty third of your Apurva Shastra Essentials of Microbiology, which is about tuberculosis and non-tuberculous mycobacteria infection. In this chapter, we will be previewing tuberculosis and non-tuberculous mycobacteria infections. Now, as this is a very important and big topic, we will be covering it in three parts. In first part, we will be covering the general pathogenesis and clinical features of tuberculosis. In second part, we will be covering the lab diagnosis of tuberculosis. And in the third part, we will be covering the treatment of tuberculosis along with the non-tuberculous mycobacteria infection. Introduction. Mycobacteria comprise of several species which produce various infections ranging from pulmonary, extrapulmonary, and cutaneous infections. They exhibit the following common properties: acid fastness. The unique property of mycobacteria is acid fast. That is, they resist decolorization by dilute mineral acids. Acid fastness is due to the presence of high content of mycolic acid in the cell wall and the integrity of the cell wall. This property is used as an important identification feature in the diagnostic laboratories. They are non-motile, non-sporing, non-capsulated, weakly gram-positive, straight or slightly curved rod-shaped bacteria, which are obligate aerobes. They sometimes show branching filamentous forms resembling fungal mycelium. Mycelium meaning fungus. Reflecting the mold-like pellicle formation on liquid media, history Robert Koch isolated the tubercle bacillus and provided proved its causative role in tuberculosis as it satisfies the Koch postulates. Classification: Mycobacteria can be classified into M. tuberculosis complex. It is responsible for tuberculosis in man. M. leprae Hansen's bacilli it causes leprosy characterized by anesthetic skin patches. uh and lesions of peripheral nerves if not treated can lead to deformities affecting eye no hands and feet uh tuber- non tuberculous mycobacteria ntm these are diverse group of mycobacteria they are either saprophytic in nature m gordonae from tap water or may be found as common cell m smegmatis in urine some of them can cause opportunistic human infection example m kansa c tuberculosis Tuberculosis caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis complex is one of the oldest disease of mankind. It is a major cause of death worldwide. It usually affects the lungs, although other organs are also involved. M tuberculosis complex includes M tuberculosis, the most common species to cause TB in man. M bovis, bovine tubercle bacillus. Other members are less common human pathogens such as M africanum, M microti, M capri, M pinnipedi, M canti, M Suriketi, M. Orgis, M. Mungi, and the recently described Dicey bacillus and Chimpanzee bacillus. These species are so closely related to each other by antigenic and molecular analysis that they are regarded by many authors as the variants of a single species. However, they can be distinguished from each other by certain properties. Antigenic structure. Antigens of Mycobacterium tuberculosis are mainly of two types: cell wall insoluble antigens. The cell wall consists of several distinct layers. Peptidoglycan layer maintains the shape and rigidity of the cell wall. Arabinoglycan layer, the major structural component of the mycobacterial cell wall. Mycolic acid layer is the principal constituent made up of long chain fatty acids attached to arabinogalactin. It confers very low permeability to the cell wall and is responsible for acid fastness and also reduces the entry of most antibiotics. Outermost layer consists of lipids. Di mycos serostases and acyl glycerols glycolipid and mycosides uh, phenolic glycolipids proteins example porine transport protein uh, they are found throughout the various layers plasma membrane is uh, the layer present in beneath the cell wall into which various proteins phosphatidyl uh, inositol monocytes and lipoarabino Manan LAM are inserted. LAM is an important antigen which facilitates the survival of a tubercle bacilli within the macrophages. It is also used as a target antigen for the TB diagnosis. Cytoplasmic soluble antigens include antigen five, six, sixty, and are used in the zero diagnosis of tuberculosis. In this figure, we can see from outside to inside the mycosides, the mycolic acid, arabinogalactin, peptidoglycan, lipoarabinomannan, and then the cell membrane. Now the pathogenesis source of infection. The source of infection of MTB complex may be human. Case of pulmonary tuberculosis, bovine source like uh, consumption of unpasteurized infected milk. 
Mode of transmission airborne and tuberculosis is mainly transmitted by inhalation of aerosols generated while coughing, sneezing or speaking of infected patients. They are tiny dry droplet nuclei less than 5 micrometers size which may remain suspended in the air for several hours and are easily inhaled. There may be as many as 3000 infections infectious nuclei per cough. Other modes of transmission are rare such as inoculation, transmission of infected of infection through direct skin contact with an infected person is uncommon. Ingestion, swallowing of the sputum in infants or consumption of unpasteurized infected milk. Risk factors favoring the transmission of infection include sputum positive patients, sputum showing acid fast tubercle bacilli in the microscopy transmit more efficiently than sputum negative patients. Bacillary load uh, at least 10 to power 4 bacilli per ml in sputum is required for an effective transmission. Adult patients with cavitary lesions in the lung have more bacillary load in the sputum 10 to power 5 to 10 to power 7 AFB per ml. Therefore, transmit more efficiently. Culture negative pulmonary TB and extra pulmonary TB patients are essentially non-infectious. And other factor can be overcrowding in poorly ventilated rooms. Now following infection, not all but only a minor population of the people develop progressive diseases. They usually have the following endogenous risk factors such as low cell mediated immunity for example HIV infected people. Other comorbid conditions such as post silicosis, post transplantation, renal cardiac, uh, jejunoileal bypass, gastrectomy, chronic renal failure, hemodialysis, diabetes, IV drug abuse, smoking etc. Age, late adolescence and early adulthood periods are more prone. Elderly people are at increased risk due to waning immunity and underlying comorbidities. Sex uh, risk is higher in women at 25 to 34 years of age while at older ages men have a greater risk. Sequence of pathogenic events The sequence of pathogenic events that take place are as follows. Droplet nuclei containing tubercle bacilli from infectious patients are inhaled. Majority are trapped in the upper airways and expelled out by the ciliary action of the mucosal cells. Only a fraction, usually less than 10% of the small droplets, reach the alveoli. Addition to macrophages, mycobacterial surface lipoarabinomannan (LAM) binds to the complement receptors and mannose receptors present on the surface of macrophages. This leads to the internalization of the bacilli. Phagocytosis by macrophages it is uh, enhanced by complement C3B mediated opsonization of bacilli. Survival inside the macrophages this is due to the bacterial cell wall LAM which impairs phagosome lysosome fusion by inhibiting an increase in intracellular calcium and phosphatidyl inositol 3 phosphate. If the bacilli is successful in arresting phagolysosome fusion, then they happily replicate inside the macrophage. The macrophage eventually ruptures and releases the bacillary uh, contents which infect other in uninfected phagocytes uh, and infection cycle continues. Host immune response, the cell mediated immune response. Host cell mediated immune response to tubercle bacilli is critical to contain the infection. Macrophages present in the mycobacterial antigens to Th helper cells and activate them into Th1 and Th2 subsets. Th1 cells release cytokines such as IL2, I interferon gamma, which activate monocyte and macrophages. Thus, activation of Th1 cells leads to the development of two host responses, a macrophage activating response and a tissue damaging response. The balance between the two determines the outcome of the infection as follows. Macrophage activating response. Majority of individuals show resistance to infection and are able to contain the bacilli. Interferon gamma activates the resting alveolar macrophages into activated macrophages which are capable of killing and digesting the tubercle bacilli. These activated macrophages aggregate around the center of the lesion and form a characteristic granuloma called tubercles. Tubercles are the essential pathological findings of tuberculosis. Formation of tubercle is a favorable sign. They are primarily of two types, hard tubercles and soft. Hard tubercles are initially hard, uh, composed of a central zone containing activated macrophages, epithelioid and giant cells, and a peripheral zone of lymphocytes and fibroblasts. Soft tubercles, later the central part of the lesion undergoes caseous necrosis and contains necrotic material resembling soft cheese. Growth of M. tuberculosis is inhibited within this necrotic environment because of low oxygen tension and low pH. Eventually the lesion heals and calcifies. The viable bacilli may remain dormant within the macrophages or within the necrotic material for many years without causing further tissue destruction. Tissue damaging response in a minority of the cases, especially those associated with risk factors as mentioned above, 
the macrophage activating response is weak and the bacilli are more virulent here the mycobacterial growth can be inhibited only by intensified delayed hypersensitivity reaction dath which leads to lung tissue destruction the gaseous necrosis becomes liquefied containing large numbers of bacilli which further spread by three ways direct draining to the airways and then get discharged to the environment while coughing and talking lymphatic spread and thereby receding into the same or opposite lung then disseminate to the other organs and hematogenous spread to various organs especially among young children with immature immunity hematogenous spread may lead to fatal miliary tb or tuberculous meningitis humoral immune response th2 cells drive cytokines such as il4 5 activate b cells to produce antibodies m tuberculosis being obligate intracellular organism humoral immunity plays a minor role however the anti lam antibodies play a role in preventing dissemination of the tuberculosis in children clinical manifestation tb is classified as pulmonary and extra pulmonary forms pulmonary ptb uh, pulmonary tuberculosis accounts for 60 to 90 percent of all cases of tuberculosis it can be further categorized into primary or post primary or the secondary types extra pulmonary tb eptb results from hematogenous dissemination of the tubercle bacilli to the various organs though eptb constitutes about 10 to 40 percent of the cases in tb in hiv positive patients the frequency is much higher accounting to up to two thirds of all cases of tuberculosis virtually all organ systems may be affected however the sites commonly involved in order of frequency are tuberculous lymphadenitis the most common form mainly in children accounting for 35 percent of all eptb cases the most common sites are posterior cervical and supraclavicular lymph nodes it presents as painless swelling in the neck region without warmth or color change plural tuberculosis accounts for 20 percent of all eptb cases it presents as plural effusion tuberculous empyema is a less common complication that develops due to rupture of a cavity into plural space with spillage of tubercle bacilli which may form a bronchopleural fistula tuberculosis of the upper airways involving larynx pharynx and epiglottis hoarseness dysphonia and chronic productive cough are the common clinical presentation genital urinary tuberculosis renal tuberculosis genital tuberculosis in female patient fallopian tubes and endometrium are commonly involved uh, causing infertility in males epididymis is the most common site skeletal tuberculosis weight bearing joints such as uh, spine post disease or tuberculous spondylitis is most common hips and knees are commonly affected with advanced disease collapse of vertebral bodies results in kyphosis gibbous and paravertebral cold abscess may also form cold abscess may penetrate the chest wall to present as soft tissue mass or may penetrate inguinal ligaments and present as swass abscess tuberculosis of cns it occurs commonly in children tuberculous meningitis and tuberculoma are the common forms gastrointestinal tuberculosis terminal ileum and the cecum are the most common sites involved the root of spread may be due to the swallowing of sputum with direct seeding hematogenous spread and ingestion of cow's milk infected with m bovis in developing countries tb peritonitis occurs either by direct spread ruptured lymph nodes or hematogenous seeding tuberculous pericarditis occurs as a direct extension from adjacent lymph nodes or following hematogenous spread it occurs in elderly people in countries with low tb prevalence now the tuberculous skin lesions uh, scrofluoderma is a skin condition caused by tuberculous involvement of skin by direct extension usually from underlying tuberculous lymphadenitis tubus vulgaris apple jelly like nodules are found over the face in females now a comparison between the primary and secondary pulmonary tuberculosis is given primary results due to initial exogenous infection with tubercle bacilli while the post primary results from exogenous reinfection and endogenous reactivation of the latent primary lesion age group in primary is children while in secondary is adults part of lung commonly affected in primary are subpleural lesion affecting middle and lower lung lobes while in the secondary are apical and posterior segments of the upper lobes areas of high oxygen tension lesions formed at initial sites in primary are fibrotic nodular lesions or known as gons focus while in secondary ones are hematogenous seedling in the apex of lungs called as simons focus and reactivated simons focus with central caseation known as asman focus uh, okay 
lymph nodes in primary are gon focus associated with hilar lymphadenopathy com is common collars primary complex while in secondary lymph node involvement is unusual and the clinical features of primary involve uh, some asymptomatic or may present with fever productive cough with or without hemoptysis and occasionally pleuritic chest pain night sweating weight loss in secondary ones we see lesions undergoing necrosis and tissue destruction leading to cavity formation symptoms are similar but more pronounced the fate in majority of the cases in primary is that the lesions heal spontaneously primary complex becomes calcified known as rank case complex really in children with impaired immunity progressive primary tb develops and spreads by local invasion and lymphatics in secondary cases majority of the cases necrotic material breaks into the airways leading to bronchogenic spread of the same or opposite lung forms of satellite lesions which coalesce producing caseating pneumonia expectoration of the bacterial laden sputum and hematogenous spread leading to the seedling of bacilli in various parts of the body and granuloma formation it rarely heals spontaneously in this figure of ct scan of lungs it shows cavitation in the left upper lobe this is a suggestive of pulmonary tuberculosis now the malaria or disseminated tuberculosis hematogenous spread of the tubercle bacilli results in the formation of yellowish 1 to 2 mm size granulomatous lesions resembling millet seeds the term as malaria in various organs it is more common in hiv infected people post tb aspergillosis chronic pulmonary aspergillosis may develop due to colonization of aspergillus fumigatus in the residual tb cavities it may manifest as simple aspergilloma fungal ball or chronic cavity aspergillosis it presents as respiratory impairment hemoptysis and weight loss hiv infected associated tuberculosis tuberculosis is one of the most common opportunistic disease among hiv infected people due to low cmi worldwide tb occurs in 70 to 80 percent of the hiv infected individuals eptb being more common than ptb common presentation are lymphatic disseminated and pleural and meningitis now epidemiology about a quarter of the current world population is infected sim sim asymptomatically with mtb of which 5 to 10 percent develop the clinical disease during the lifetime world who has estimated 10 million new cases of the tb in 2018 with a global incidence of 130 new cases per 1 lakh population per year deaths are due to uh, tb was estimated to be 12 lakh in hiv negative and 2.5 lakh in hiv co infected people in 2018 which was much less compared to death around 17 lakhs in the year 2000 over 95% of tb deaths occur in low and middle income countries who regions the highest burden of tb was from southeast asia followed by africa 24% and west pacific 18% countries eight countries uncounted for two third of the total tb burden with india having the largest share 27% of the total tb cases and 33% of total tb deaths followed by china indonesia philippines pakistan nigeria bangladesh and south africa in highly endemic area each sputum av positive patient may spread the infection up to 20 contacts due to a delay in make, making the diagnosis in india 2018 about 27 lakh cases occurred with the highest burden from uttar pradesh 20% of the cases now followed by maharashtra in contrast delhi followed by chandigarh and puducherry accounted for the highest number of cases per lakh population TB is one of the top 10 causes of death worldwide and the leading cause among infectious diseases ranking above HIV AIDS and COVID-19 in 2020. Okay so this completes our part 1. Next lab diagnosis will be covered in the next video. Like share subscribe. Thanks for watching.